we'll come to the project demonstration of iot based vertical forming so here we are going to uh, do the forming along with the monitoring of the particular sensors data so here we are using the sensors humidity and temperature purpose dht11 and next soil moisture content with help of the soil moisture sensor and water level from this water level sensors so these three parameters provide us the four parameters three sensors four parameters so those four parameters continuously log into the things click cloud platform so temperature so water level and uh, humidity and next moisture content so these parameters continuously monitor on the things click cloud platform this can be accessed from anywhere in the world through the wi-fi iot so esp8266 wi-fi module so which is interfaced at the arduino you know at pin number 8 and 9 and the coming to the sensors soil moisture sensor at a0 water level sensor at a1 dsc double one sensor at 10th pin and 11 and 12 to this relays so this relays continue uh, like automatically controlled based on the moisture content so soil moisture relay will be controlled uh, for this motor uh, for the soil moisture sensor and water level sensor to control this water level motor so these two motors for the two sensors humidity temperature continuously monitoring so we are providing to the device ac inputs and to this regulated power supply board so which is of consists of transformation filtration rectification and regulation so transformation to step down uh, to 30 to 12 and rectification to convert ac to dc that is pulsating dc and filtration for smoothing purpose and regulation will get the 5 volts dc output voltage so that is the main operating voltage to the whole kit so before on the kit we need to install uh, sorry we need to go to hotspot settings of your phone and uh, change the hotspot name to project double five eight five so all are small letters without any space and the password should be one two three four five six seven eight nine ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz so after enabling the hotspot along with data now log into the thingspeak cloud platform right so when you log into that it will show you this page initially and go to vertical farming so these are the parameters while scrolling touch or not on the taskbar so between the graphs okay so to get the fresh data so i need to erase the old data so before erasing that better to download the data for that data import exports and then download the data so the data will be downloaded So go to downloads. So, so it will be downloaded in uh, Excel sheet format. So right after downloading, the data will be available in the file manager. So now you can open that. So it will be open in Excel sheet format so that we can access the data and we can see the data in the uh, how many number of entries till now happen and uh, sorry this is the feeds actually mm. okay so when we download this when we click on download so it will be downloads so when you click on the like page and download that page was downloaded Right. Okay. So number of uh, entries till now six entries happened. And uh, first one is the temperature field one, field two humidity, field three is going to be the moisture content, uh, moisture content and water level. Right. So then after you download the data, now go to the things peak. So we need to download this one, not the download page. Channel settings. And here only do clear channel. Don't do any other changes. So channel got cleared and now go to the private view the old data got erased now so right so the hotspot on data on and clear the channel if you want to stay on the uh, channel you can uh, like no need to clear that on the kitchen okay 
the initially the device will be connected to your phone so the data will be uploaded to thingspeak for every 15 seconds duration because the thingspeak accept the data in a duration of 15 seconds only so meanwhile you can check the status for the moisture content release so water level so we need to wipe off this total things right now the motor got switched on the status will be shown on this relay so after dipping the into the water again motor got switched off again so we can see the data is uploaded here so water level so it's, it's going to be the 0 to 1000 and moisture content 0 to 100 percent right moisture content is full so now if i place that in outside so the motor got switched on as you can see the relay status on the relay board so we got the data again so wait for some time so that the data will be varies so based on your network speed uh, so the data also will be uploaded into that in faster manner right so we got that soil moisture content is decreased